Hey everyone, breaking on a budget. I haven't opened packs in a while and uh, opened some off camera, but today I'm gonna open some football. These have been out for a while, I guess. The Panini Prism 2018. These are like the, I don't know what they call these, bonus packs, value packs. You may have noticed I haven't been opening cards in the setup I usually use, so that room's out of commission temporarily. And I was just trying to fix some things in that room today. And I actually made it worse. I need an electrician now. Because I am not handy. And I really messed up. So, broken glass, everything. So, I was just trying to do it, do it myself. But, yeah. So, that pack felt weird. Um, it was stuck to the plastic. You know, I've been hearing a lot. I've been, uh, actually, I never go on to Reddit. But I've been going on Reddit lately. And just just reading about people that are like searching packs and I found a guy at Target the other day that was searching packs this man had to have been he was 88 years old if he was a day old and um, he was searching packs and I should have taken a picture he was old and I mean no one would suspect him but he was he was he saw me next to him and he was just kept waiting and waiting and waiting it was just really it was really weird so, um, there's Julian Edelman, Ben Roethlisberger, there's a TJ Watt, that's a green, and DeAndre Hopkins. Is this green one numbered? No. But the thing I see now is that a lot of people, so if you ever see these people that sell hot packs, well, they're shady, don't ever buy the hot packs. Well, the only reason I say it is because what sucks is the same people that sell hot packs are selling regular packs. So what do you think you're gonna get? You might get something out of the hot pack, but if you if you buy packs from anyone on eBay, make sure they're not also selling hot packs. Cause they're gonna take all the good stuff out and then also sell the packs full of like commons. Mari Cooper, Jason Taylor, Hall of Fame, Micah Hyde. So it's just shady that they're they're buying a bunch of packs and um because I was looking at all the different sellers, right? And the one, anyone who was selling the, the Mega Box packs was also selling hot packs in baseball. Josh Norman, Sterling Shepard, Taquan Smith rookie, the Garrett Blount. Uh, here's the red, white, and blue. Hope I get something here because I got nothing in the others. Yes. Yeah, so, and then the other thing I've noticed, if you look on eBay, anyone that sells hot packs or he sells just regular loose packs, they're also selling their own refractors. So they're selling tons of refractors. Like, what are the odds they'll get refractors in, like, every pack? Tevin Coleman. Lori Jackson. Yeah, Leighton Van Esch, rookie. So everyone says these look like barbershop pole cards, and they do. Let's open the last one. Nothing there. But, yeah, I've just been watching a lot of people on eBay and the stuff that they're selling. And yeah, just it's like everyone wants to get young kids into the hobby. But if a young kid buys all these packs at Target or Walmart and they're not getting any hits, well, maybe someone else is searching the packs. I'll tell you, the shadiest person is, uh, uh, I don't know, it's the guy Houdini Collector. He's still, he works for a card company now, a card store, and he's on, he's on YouTube. He used to post all these videos claiming he caught people searching packs and like beat them up and took the packs from them or something like that. And then he'd open all these searched packs that he didn't search somehow, but Mariota, Larry Fitzgerald, that's my favorite player. And Devontae Freeman. So he, was, he would claim that he roughed someone up, he caught someone searching packs, took the packs from them, then purchased them with the... Target's permission. And then he's like, well, let's see what this dishonest person got. And then he'd open them up. Shady, man. Brandon Graham. Josh Doxson. Jordan Lastly. Jimmy Graham. Man, nothing so far. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I got these at Walmart. I was looking to make sure they hadn't been searched, to tell you the truth. I don't think they've been searched, but it looks like with the stuff I'm getting, looks like they've been searched. Todd Gurley, 
Khalil Mack, Torrey Smith, yay. Jack Doyle. So I'm going to start listing on eBay. I told myself if I got anything decent in these packs, I would list this in eBay. But so far, I'm going to list a whole lot of cards for 25 cents. And Demarcus Lawrence. Tom Brady. Okay, I could list that one on eBay. Hayden Hurst. Not quite a household name rookie card, but Tom Brady, that's the best card I've gotten out of this these packs. Well, I hope, hope you all enjoyed this. Like I said, be on the lookout for um, pack searchers. And, um, uh, and then when you're buying packs, make sure you check the bottoms of blaster boxes. Make sure they're not glued. I bought some cards from uh, one company. One company in the... Um, I had some. I found some 1982 Tops baseball in the pack. I got two Bucky Dent from 82 Tops, and this was 2016 football. But oh well. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all later.